Adam Sodorius writes, Hey guys, love the show. I watch every day. My question is, what is your stance on the debate between film and digital? Film is a form of art and should not be lost. I was just curious as to hear which one you guys prefer. Thanks. Uh, once again, I'll play the uncool kid and take the totally unpopular thing about what you're supposed to say. I don't give crap about film. Don't give a crap about film. The, the digital technology has come so far. Uh, I've been on sets where they've shot with film. I've been on sets where they shot digitally. You want to be on the set where they're shooting digitally. And now they, it's so gorgeous and beautiful now what they can do. So, but look, I'm not taking away, just because I feel that way, I'm not taking anything away from the people who still feel that, that love and affection for film. I'm not saying you shouldn't feel that way whatsoever. But if you're going to ask me what my personal opinion of it is, I could care less if film disappeared tomorrow. I really, as long as we saved all the films first, <laughs> if you say, as long as we save all the movies first. Um, and like so, you know, hey, God bless Quentin Tarantino for having a love for it and wanting to have his film only movie theater. I think there's a place for that. I think I celebrate that people who have a love for it have a place to go and celebrate that kind of stuff. And a lot of these filmmakers grew up working with film. That's how they learn. That's where they're comfortable. They've got an affection with it. They feel they work best with it. More power to you but I don't care, anyway. Um, I think that digital, digital has come such a, a far, far away, it's advanced into where we, we, you sometimes can't even tell the way, the way from how it looks, but I am a, I am a film guy. I like the, I'm so happy that Star Wars is shooting in film again too. There's something about it that it just, it makes it more of a movie experience for me. I, I know, like you, like you just said too, that's not everybody, that's me. Um, so I would like them to still keep film and still advance digital, because they can do some really cool things with digital, and they have, so I'm, I'm kind of in the middle. I am too. I feel like it really depends on the project. I feel this way about vinyl versus digital as well because I have a really amazing vinyl collection and there's something about when you play that album, it just fills the room with this warmth that you don't get on your iPod. You just don't. And I feel that way about film and digital as well in that space because certain filmmakers, Paul Thomas Anderson, Quentin Tarantino, like there is something magical about shooting on film and then you can feel that as an audience member. But not all films need that. Some there really are. I mean, we've come so far with digital as well. So I think it's a case by case basis. I, I do think I'm really excited Star Wars shooting that way as well, but I do think it's a case by case basis, but I don't want it to be a loss for him because there's something magical about it still to me. Yeah, some some filmmakers have gone on record to say that they, you know, James Cameron said, you know, I my relationship with film ended years ago because there were things he just couldn't do in the medium of film. So I do agree that digital is kind of taking filmmakers into new areas. I am totally on the fence about this. There's a great documentary uh, that Keanu Reeves produced called Side by Side, and it actually talks to some of the best directors in the world about their opinion on this exact topic. And it's fascinating. I highly recommend it. It's really well done. And the, he talks to Scorsese and Christopher Nolan and everybody you care about, everybody you love. And it's really interesting to hear all the different filmmakers weighing in yeah. on the different things. And really, what I gleaned from it, and my opinion is, as much as I love film, and I think there will always be a place for it, just like there's always a place for vinyl. I do think that digital is just going to take over because the process is too expensive. It's prohibitive. Not it, di Digital media democratizes creation because it enables people that don't have access to film to create. So there's something to be said for that, for the and digital. correct me if thing. I'm wrong, but I believe they're down to one company left that even produces film stock. Yeah, I think it's like one stock. or two. It's like really... And, yeah, and in just, LA just specifically, a... to process it is super expensive. It's getting actually harder to do. So I think it is kind of falling into the hands of the greats who can afford it and who can demand it. You know? So if, appreciate. Yeah. if you are somebody who really does value and appreciate and have an affection for film, make sure you do what you can to support it then, Absolutely. like yeah. for, for that type of stuff, if that's something that appeals to you. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.